This is how you can have the perfect defense on FC24. We are going to play a game of Elite Rivals and I am going to show you the best defending techniques out there and explain my thought process and we will also focus on the other aspects as well. So let's get straight into it. I have tried to record this video previously but I never found a good opponent but now hopefully this guy is good alright. So first rule of defending is actually building up. When you are building up from your own half try not to lose the ball because if I lose the ball over here that means the opponent has an easy chance of scoring a goal okay. And always try to build up through the wings. Okay, Look for the space do we have the space over here no. So what do we do switch other side. Because of how the hyper motion is this year, you have to switch a lot in this game. Nice with Bruno, ball roll, Trivella, goal. Oh, green time and it would go in. I should have timed it, but we, I'm having some delay, so I didn't. Okay, nice. Now we have to apply pressure over here. Mark Trezeguet, R1 with our winger. Okay, now press him. Go with our striker, apply direct pressure. Look for his strikers, see where his next pass might be, over here, okay. R1, double R1, he's going in the wings, try to defend the wings, pick closer, yeah. When you have the opportunity, go with the tackle, okay. Tackling is important in this game. Like I said, we will build up through the wings. If I go in the midfield, that is not a good situation because the midfield is clogged. So many people tell me that. When we are being pressed, it is hard. I know because you play in straight lines. Don't play in straight lines. Play in triangles and go in the midfield. See, he is always marking the player who is in the middle. So because I go in the wings, I'm able to do what? I'm able to escape the pressure. That should have been a driven pass and it would have gone. Mark his runs, press him. How do you press? The best way of pressing is to not leave a passing lane open. And once passing lanes are cut out, that is when we go for the ball. Now, mark his runs, offside trap, push our line up, try to switch, nice, okay, he's playing a 4-3-2-1 I feel, offside trap, that, okay, focus, 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 that is good defending, I didn't give him any side, you know, you always have to jockey diagonally, don't jockey head on, what do I mean by that, like don't jockey like this, jockey like this, if it makes sense. And another thing I want to add is you always offside trap when the opponent is facing towards his goal. Don't do it when he is facing your goal, otherwise you will do a silly offside trap. I'm I'm running 62 depth, so I have to do manual offside trap. See? Offside traps just help us apply pressure on the opponent and the main take and the main takeaway from today's session must be sustained pressure, guys. If someone tells you that use your midfielders and you only use your midfielders then that means you're doing something wrong how oh, how i butchered that chance let's not talk about it because i was talking right you have to apply pressure as well it is called sustained pressure tell hullet to run and i'll show you how to do it german cross come on see i have to apply some sort of pressure if i give him too much time to think then he will go through I marked this run and I brought out the goalkeeper. Obviously my defenders are now slow, it's the gold Van Dyke is a bit slow for all these attackers. R1 L1 triangle because he pushed up, look for the space in the wings, bottle scoop up, okay nice, nice, what should I say, I should change my settings back to animation start man because I'm having too much delay. Go in the wings. Tell our strikers to run. Run. That's such a bad pass from Mbappe man. He's on the counter attack. Cover his run. See Cantona is running. Cover him. Cover him. We marked it manually. If we didn't mark Cantona, that through pass would have gone. So the first rule is to always keep a straight back line. Second is to mark the dangerous runs. And that is a shit pass from the AI. You can argue that I wasn't 
facing the direction you also ideally always want to face the direction where you are passing the ball towards come on man don't try hard it's just a throw in okay offside trap offside trap now press him you see this is what happens when we use the offside trap they are important they help us apply sustained pressure okay control sprint control sprint control sprint nice because he has technical plus and so his control sprint is really nice again he's on the kick off right or drop back offside traps nice look roberto carlos is running mark him now apply pressure with second man press bring our midfielders back he rushed his pass he gave us a gift now we have to focus on not losing the ball over here nice ball roll away r1x l1x to create motion l1x again desai is pulled out of position what a shit pass from holet nice he likes to press right so if someone likes to press you have to play a bit quicker against them punish them for pressing you too much that is lucky uh, lev yasin is really good man so what i did over there with ronaldo was supposed to be a mcgidi cancel okay cover his runs now press him. so we marked his runs we didn't give him too much time to think that is important right also make it a habit of checking your opponent's formation he's playing a 4-3-1-2 that means we'll have too much space on the wings but at the same time that means his midfield pressure will be high so we have to make sure we do not lose the ball in the midfield otherwise we are increasing the chances of getting scored against by right? one more thing you have to accept that you are going to concede goals because there is no perfect way of not conceding a goal it's a football game and it's fifa it's fc you will always concede goals but you can like influence how many goals you are going to concede see if a goal comes from opponent's brilliance he does something brilliant that is fine if it comes from the game's bs that is fine as well but what we have to make sure is that we don't leak free goals we do not pull players out of position we are applying sustained pressure we are using offside traps effectively we are not losing the ball in our own half we are not sprinting like a madman with our cbs okay cover his runs de jong is running lorente is running mark inside second man press offside trap offside trap press him this is a good opportunity to win the ball back and we do i rushed i'm sorry see what when this happens we are just given him a free attack which mark is striker with your cms if you are playing a 442 mark is striker mark is striker see i switched to maldini before he made the pass because i knew that is the most strange pass in that situation so your anticipation skills have to improve and they can improve when you watch such videos pull him out of position but he will recover man this guy is fast lev yashin nice go i'm on a high elo in foot champs and we are going to be focusing on defending aspects again right okay do not lose the ball when building up it is important very important call our winger short always try to play in the wings i didn't want to play for champs right now because the gameplay is horrible at night it is fine but for you guys man win or lose i don't care fine we're currently 13 and 1 nice that is bad do not rush we don't want to rush go up nice technical dribbling short cancel penalty kick i should have just shot man bruno has great penalties and he scores offside traps activate offside trap nice 
cover the runs tackle this guy is using such a fodder team but it's fine we can focus on the defending aspects right that is bad see this is what happens when you lose the ball in your own half we concede because of this there's something you don't want to do man step over down take shot Always pass the ball in the direction you are facing. We weren't facing that direction, definitely. Mark the run. L1X. Tell Ronaldo to run. Tell Rivaldo to run. Ball roll away. Into Bruno Fernandes. Straight. Into Cristiano. Goal. Come on, that should be a goal. That is Cristiano Ronaldo. Mark him. X. Nice shoulder tackle. To Bruno. Control sprint away. He has long ball plus. That was for Rivaldo. Come on. Now cover his runs. He has dangerous runs. Lorente is immobile. Now press him. We have to press him now. It's called sustained pressure like I said. Step overs. L1 X. R1 L1 triangle. Too deep, too deep, too deep of a through pass, man. Mark his dangerous runs, step in front of him. He where he has the most dangerous passing option available, anticipate. Use R1. Move the goalkeeper. Just stand, stand over there get closer and go for the tackle you have to tackle in this game man because the ai will not tackle for you l1x tell mbappe to run mm -hmm, not a good pass we are losing the ball too much in our own half against this guy which is not good and the gameplay is terrible tackle because he took a bad touch he is not marking rivaldo r1 Collet. That was for Collet. He's offside, yes. No worries, no worries. Focus. Offside trap. Now press him. What are you doing, man? Up. Away. Press. Definitely press. We are being unlucky in this game. The gameplay is bad. So in such games, your defending will win you matches, man. You cannot make a defensive error. You cannot afford to make a defensive error. Tackle. Win the ball. Offside trap. L1X. Rivaldo is running. Go for the through pass. Nice through pass. Nice goal. Rivella. Easy. See, the opponent isn't good, but we know there is BS in this game. Right now, it's evening time, peak time, the servers are heavy, so we have to focus on defending. But in such gameplay, you have to be more conservative, right, in your defense. You have to mark passing lanes and apply sustained pressure. Don't high press like a madman, like a headless chicken. Don't try to press like MS Dosari or Tex. Just maintain your shape and have discipline. See, you saw the touch from Mbappe, I didn't even press sprint. That tells you that the gameplay is really bad right now. We have to play simple. Nice, see, I didn't saw that run. And he scores. See, every chance he gets, he scores. My mistake over there was not being able to see that run. But other than that, I didn't make any mistakes to be honest. But can I say that was a good goal? It's based Torres. The Forder team, like I said, but two shots, two goals, man. 
it's a good test of the mind like i said you will always concede goals but try not to concede goals that come from your mistakes one goal came off of my mistake in this game where i lost the ball here is the last minute 45th minute it is scripted minute i won't say scripted but there is something in this minute right get the ball out of here man get it out of here so we do end up scoring a couple of more goals in this game like i say it's all about sticking close to the opponent applying sustained pressure and when you see that you are better than a player don't start rushing mindlessly you still have to defend in a strategic way what is the strategic way of defending like i say first we cover his passing lanes we activate offside traps we make sure that there are no runs in behind then we stick close we stick close all the time we apply sustained pressure when we apply sustained pressure we make sure that the opponent isn't having much time on the ball if i say select a midfielder and keep running back with him that is bad advice and you shouldn't be doing that you want to make sure that you are defending strategically and when staying close use l2 r2 and remember to tackle as well